Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of uh, Biology and of course today we are looking, we are strolling into what the animal kingdom proper and looking at the first sets, the simplest multicellular what organisms uh, uh, in the one in the animal kingdom which is what the porifera. Okay, the peripherals. Okay, know that this video tutorial, of course, is brought to you by the O3 School Jam app. Like I've said, and I'll continue saying, it is one of the most important things you need to what to pass your exam. It's a CBT practice app. Your Jam exam is a CBT exam. So if you have that app, you can be able to practice with it before your exam. Hey, you are what a success already. All right. So it has wonderful feature. It has all the past questions that you ever need for your exam. All of them for all the subjects that are inside the application. Okay, and they have some wonderful features designed to make you perform excellently well in your exam. Like we have the, uh, we have the classroom feature where you can watch study lecture notes according to the jam syllabus and then take tests on them. We have the question search feature where you can search for questions according to topics and you can be able to, work to see all the questions that jam has set on that particular topic. And when you consume those question you see that what well, you are building confidence towards the main exam what else we also have what well, the utme challenge a challenge that will conduct for all students that are writing jam this year you compete with your mates you win amazing prizes but winning the prizes is not really the major thing one you are getting used to how jam said your question two you are seeing your results released every week every challenge is a mock challenge so every week you see your result release after you participate and then you can be able to gauge your pro your progress for the work for the exam then as you are answering questions as you are smashing questions and answering them you build your confidence toward the main exam and then are waiting for that, that for that main day to work to chew to chew the questions all right so please download the application right now from play store okay the old three school jam app old three school jam app download from play store and then activate it the app is not free it's not completely free okay you have to activate to get full access to all of these features okay activation as at the time of shooting this video is just three thousand naira. okay it will increase in future so please make sure what you focus on passing your exam at once to activate click on activate on the app after downloading it and then go at the top you just see where the road buy activation key click on that by activation key you see three options for payment you can see the first option you can transfer to the O2 Schools app account. The, all right. Also, you can also what uh, 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 use your ATM card to pay online. That one is automatic what activation. But if you are making transfer, make sure you send the receipt to this number on WhatsApp: zero nine one two one five one five two. Four, six. Just send the word the receipt to this number on WhatsApp and you get what? An urgent what reply. All right. So please, once you pay, do not panic. Once you pay, you must get activated. There's nothing like scam here. All right. So please jump on the app. Make sure you are practicing. Make sure you are studying. Make sure you are following our word, our tutorials episode by episode. And you see that you have no single problem at all in your exam. All right. Now, let's get to uh, the peripherals. Okay. This is the phylum word. Porifera. We say phylum porifera, they are the lowest multicellular animals belonging to the animal kingdom. They are the lowest multicellular animals belonging to the animal kingdom. In fact, before they were grouped under the word the plant kingdom because of, of their green coloration, all right, because of their green color and their symbiotic relationship with the algae, they were classified as plant before, okay. But now they, they now have their own their phylum, they are giving their own phylum under the word the animal world kingdom, okay. Porifera refers to the pearl bearers, okay? They are the pearl bearers, P-O-R-O-E, pearl bearers or pearl bearing species of the world, of the animal world kingdom. These peripherals, they have what they have was, uh, they are characterized by a porous body. They have what a porous word body, okay? These peripherals are characterized by what? By a porous body. That's how we call them what pearl bearers or pearl bearing species, okay? They have what is, they have what porous word body and they have, uh, uh, they are equipped, they are equipped with what? With uh, with with uh, uh, with channels or what chambers for the what for the what uh, for the flow of what of water in or out of their body. All right, they have what porous what bodies. Okay, sponges are proved as animals and are classified into a separate what phylum. Okay, it's because what they are what they are they, they have what. Uh, uh, their body what looks like what like sponge. That's how according was sponges. They are proved as animals, and then we now give them what their separate phylum. Before now, they were all grouped under the plant, like I've said earlier. But now they are giving their separate phylum under the word the animal kingdom. They have a spongy appearance and are therefore called sponges. The reason why we call them sponges also, and we can also say porifera, uh, sorry porifera or sponges. The reason why we also call them what sponges is because they have a spongy what appearance. They have a spongy appearance. Now, 
Sponges are simple multicellular aquatic invertebrates. They are invertebrates, okay? Usually attached to rocks. They only possess a single opening, all right? They are what? Simple multicellular aquatic invertebrates, usually attached to rocks, and they, pos they possess only what? A single what? Opening. Now, two, sponges reproduce both sexually and accessually, okay? All right? They will produce accessually by what? By, by budding and what? Fragmentation. Okay, you know what budding is, you know what fragmentation. If I've been following all our episodes, you should know what those things means, okay? Now, sponges reproduce both sexually and accessually. Most sponges are hermaphrodite. That means they have what? That, that means they have what the male and female was sex what organs, okay, or tissues, okay. They have what the male and female sex organs or what tissues, all right. They are hermaphrodites. Now, their body is cylindrical, their body is cylindrical, is asymmetrical. By asymmetrical, we mean is we mean that what they lack symmetry, their, their body part fail to correspond to what to what to, 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 to a particular shape or form or structure, all right, and has a radial or symmetry. You know what radial symmetry is, isn't it? Okay, like we talked about it in the what in the previous episode. So please make sure what you go back to that episode and what and watch it. And make sure you are liking this video. Liking the video will make other students like you get to see what this video and what learn. Liking the video will make the wake. Uh, this video will get give more exposure to what to the student world community and also make sure you subscribe to this channel subscription is f r o e e completely free so don't click on that subscribe button right now once you click on the sub subscribe button of course you see that what you are what getting notification from us whenever we release a new video all right so we say that body is cylindrical they lack symmetry and has a radial symmetry they say that body wall is diploblastic diploblastic that is that is it is divided into what two layers the body part is what the plastic that is what it is divided what into two layers their mode of nutrition is holozoic holozoic form of nutrition is when this organism is what they what they consume a lot of organic what material this organic materials after the consumption they undergo what a lot of a series of metabolic what activities or processes okay and then they're not able to what to carry out what uh, uh, activities like what, uh, like uh, uh, digestion, like absorption, and what, and assimilation. So they first of all consume it, what, and consume the organic what material, and then they undergo what a lot of what, uh, a series of, of what, of metabolic ab uh, activities. All right, then their nutrition is oligozoic, and they, I say they have the power to regenerate lost parts. They have the power to regenerate lost parts. So whenever they lose a particular part of their body, they're able to what to regenerate. Also, okay, then uh, the uh, Pociferans, they are up to like 5,000 species of Pociferans, 5,000 5, species of what? Of Pociferans, or, posi, or Porifera, sorry, I'm calling it posi, Poriferas, or sponges. They have up to 5,000 species of what? Or sponges. And the exchange of respiratory gases, all right, and what? Nutrition and, and nitrogenous waste is by what? By diffusion. Right, they are, they are exchange the way the word they they, they they exchange what the way the word they release the way they release what uh, uh, respiratory gases and what and nitrogenous waste is through what diffusion. Okay, so these are uh, all we need to know about what the phylum what prophy uh, porifera that the lowest multicellular organisms animals belonging to the animal kingdom and uh, and of course they uh, uh, porifera refers to the poor bear they are the poor bearing species. Okay, and sponges are proved as animals because I said initially they are what they were classified. They were classified under the world, under the plant world kingdom. Okay, and this is their pores. This is their pores. Where they are poor bear, this is their pores is called ostia. Ostia. Okay, this is their pores are known as what are known as what ostia. All right. So please make sure that while you are following what all our tutorials and make sure while you are liking this video, you are subscribing, make sure you have your application and we are practicing and make sure that what you are was praying. And of course, in the next episode, we are going to see the next phylum in the animal kingdom. Thank you for watching.